द एपिलांट हियर इन ए वर्कमॅन वॉज एंगेज ऑन डेली वेजेस इन द इयर नाईन्टीन नाईन्टी टू हिज सर्व्हिसेस वेअर टर्मिनेटेड इन द इयर नाईन्टीन नाईन्टी नाईन ऑन द ग्राउंड दॅट ही हॅड बीन इन्व्हॉल्व इन ए क्रिमिनल केस इट इज द कन्सिडेड पोझिशन दॅट द क्रिमिनल केस हॅज एंडेड इन हिज ॲक्विटल द ॲपिलांट ऑल्सो रेज an industrial dispute alleging violation of section 25 in bracket f of the industrial disputes act 1947 the matter was referred to the labor court which held in favor of the appellant directing his reinstatement with 50% back wages the state of haryana challenge the order of the labor court exclusively on the plea that the award of back wages was not justified the learned single judge however allow the writ petition filed by the state in toto and set aside the award of the labor court and instead awarded a compensation of rupees 60000 to the appellant the matter was thereafter taken before the letters patent bench and it was argued that the challenges in the writ petition had been limited to the award of back wages and the judgment of the single bench setting aside the award in toto was beyond the prayer the division bench noticed this argument but nevertheless went on to hold that as the issue with regard to the status of a daily wage employee was covered against the appellant by a string of judgment of this court the technicality with regard to the prayer in the writ petition would not stand in the way of the high court making an order setting aside the award of the labor court the division bench accordingly affirmed the order of the learned single judge the appellant workman is here before us in appeal before us today the learned counsel for the appellant has argued that in the writ petition filed by the respondent state against the grant of back wages and nothing more in support of this submission the learned counsel has drawn our attention to the writ petition which has been appended with the paper book we find that the assertion of the learned counsel is correct we are therefore of the opinion that the order of the single judge as well as of the division bench was well beyond the scope of the prayers in the writ petition if the state felt aggrieved by the award of the labor court in toto there was no impediment in its way to challenge it in its ent- entry we feel that a party must be held to be bound by its pleading a prayer clause cannot be construed or dubbed as a technicality we are therefore of the opinion that the appeal deserve to succeed we accordingly allow the appeal and set aside the orders of the single judge as well as the division bench and restore the order of the labor court to the extent of reinstatement we are also told by the learned counsel to the extent for the appellant that the appellant had in fact been 
reinstated, but after the order of the division bench, his services had again been terminated in December 2009. We accordingly direct that the back wages envisaged would be payable only from January 2010 onwards. till his reinstatement wide this order stop